How's it going lads? Hope you guys are well. I hope you like that cheeky little intro as well. Let me know what you think, rate out of 10 in the comments below. But what I want you to do guys is I want you to show all the love in the comments to Dave Buchanan. What an amazing guy. Thank you so much for coming on to my channel bro. It means the world to me. Uh, and yeah, you've obviously got your own place on the wall. You're here. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for everybody watching this video. Make sure to smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, turn the notifications on as well lads. Like the intro said. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. This is going to be one of the best videos you guys are ever going to see on YouTube. So you played under 19s and under 21 for Northern Ireland. Yes, I did, yeah. Uh, is there any sort of key moment when you put on your obviously your nationality shirt that you really stands out to you? Like, is there any key highlight? Yeah, obviously, uh, making my debut was the biggest. For the under 19s, making my debut for Obviously, my country was something that I'll never forget. You know, as you say, when you stand there, uh, the national anthem comes on. Uh, yeah, it's something that really I'm proud of. You know, yeah. to, to to play in Italy as well. Yeah, uh, against obviously one of the best teams in the world. And on that day, we drew one all and actually got the equaliser. Yeah. So, as I say, that was one of one of the best memories I've got within football, not just obviously I won't, I was only just turned professional then, but yeah. in terms of playing, yeah, that, that's right up there with one of my proudest moments. Yeah. So you've been with Northampton since 2015, yeah. uh, and obviously you joined that season, and Northampton went to go and win League Two. Yeah. Uh, what would you say was your key highlight in that season? Like, what would you say is it could be coming back from 2 0 down to come back to 2 all, or what would you say is your highlight in that season? Uh, for me, that season, uh, the, the biggest thing about that season for me was just the togetherness of the whole group uh, the, the players, the staff, everyone within the club, really. Yeah. You know, uh, I think everybody knows the situation was when we weren't getting paid, the staff weren't getting paid and the club looked like it was going out of, you know, into liquidation really. And I remember yeah. standing outside uh, one training session with a fan who was buying tickets, you know, with this young kid and he was in tears and I was talking to him, uh, just how much it really meant to the club and the performance on the pitch were obviously second to none. Yeah. But I think everything that went on and the way we galvanised each other was... Uh, was the biggest thing that I enjoyed about it, and in terms of in terms of performances, there was a there was a few to a few I could mention. You know, I loved I loved it when we when, when we won away at Oxford. Yeah. You know, I loved it when we scored that late comeback, Ricky Holmes' goal against Stevenage. You know, I think that was a day I felt like we were really going to go on and win the league. Yeah. Uh, but. There's loads of members, you know, captain Man United, obviously my boyhood team and yeah. team I support and obviously line up against them was brilliant. But that season, I think the togetherness of the whole group and the way the fans, uh, the players, the staff, all, all we were one team and that's the way a football club should be. Yeah. Uh, luckily enough, we, we were so successful on the pitch, which helps things even more. So when you say like, in the 2015 season, like it was a one team, so you've obviously got obviously different players in the club now than what you have in the starting eleven in 2015. But what would you say? Obviously, Jimmy's coming in as a new manager and he's got his own ways. What would you say to now that's changed compared to what's in 2015? Like, uh, what would you say? Obviously, 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 since then we've had a couple of managers in. You know, different philosophies, a, a lot of turnover in player, uh, but. Since Jimmy's come in, you know he, he he's really intense. Uh, you've got to work hard, and he wants his teams to be to be at it and to be disciplined and play from within your shape, which is, which is, is really good. Yeah. You know, I think from the start uh, we, we really bought into his his ideas, and you know we're all still learning together. So you have one goal to your name at Northampton Town. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you're going to know that. Would you like to tell the fans how how it happened and where it happened? Yeah, obviously, we were, happened at Rochdale, which is my hometown club, which is oh, it's amazing, isn't it, really? The one goal you do score for, for your team is against the place where you grew up, where all your family are, and, you know, 
Got a bit of a debate, debate with him. I think it was my 500 and first appearance in the end. Uh, we thought it was our 500 before the game, but obviously Matt and Gareth, uh, they informed me that it was at my 500 and first. Uh, but yeah, it was an, as you say, it was an important goal. We found ourselves 2-0 down in the game. Obviously things haven't been going so well for us. And we got back into it uh, for Ash Taylor and then my goal, just remember, we had a throw in on the left hand side and threw it into Pauli. Uh, he did a bit of trickery around the box, and you know, I carried on my run and it fell nice for me. And I, I took the shot the inside of the post and went in. You know, it was obviously a, a great feeling, obviously for myself, but at that time, from being 2 0 down at the first time we'd come back uh, from going a goal down uh, in, to get something out of it. And the only disappointing thing was, in the end, we probably should have gone and won it with Mr. Bentley in the last minute. but. I think that, not my goal, but I think the comeback that day gives a bit of belief and that's when we started, we went, we went, on, a, went on a great run after yeah. that. Yeah. So the game did finish 5-0, uh, just want to ask you a couple of questions that the fans want to ask yourself. Uh, one one that I'm going to obviously ask for the start of the 11, uh, what would you say is your Nando's order? We've oh. had uh, a f two good ones so far, uh, yeah. what would you say is your Nando's order? Yeah, like my, regular basis. my Nando's order on a regular basis is a hummus starter, uh, chicken thighs, hot or extra hot, with super grain, rice, uh, macho peas and halloumi. So obviously you're 31 years of age, uh, where do you see yourself in like the next five years? Do you see Steve still see yourself being at the Cobblers? I don't see why not, you know, I'm, I'm under contract at the minute, uh, as you say, I'm, I'm fit, I'm uh, Playing, I'm playing well, I can play better, but I'm playing well, you know, as I say, I've only missed one game uh, in the league since, I, since I've arrived here, and as I say, I'm happy to stay here for as, for as, long, as, they want, as long as they want me to. So, obviously, you've got your own FIFA card, oh, yeah. uh, what would you say, obviously they're not accurate, are they, let's be honest, but, you know, what would you say they've let you down on? You've got 63 pace, uh, 42 shot. 56 passing, 63 dif dribbling, 62 defending, and 69 physical. I think passing more than anything they've let me down on that. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm, I'm 63 dribbling, I'm, I'm at least that for passing. You know. Yeah. I'm, I'm a dribbling better than my defending. I'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're you're only one away from a silver card. Okay. 65 rated as a silver. So you're the top of the bronze set. So. So you're back then, is it? And Regan has his own pro card, like he gets the 99 rated card because obviously he plays the game. Would you ever think about picking up a pad and you know he's playing or? I've not got enough time, you know, <laughs> being honest. I've got four kids and, you know, got uni work as well. But, you know, I'd rather just sit and watch the lads argue over it. Yeah. That, that's the best bit about FIFA, I think, you know. People who can play it when, when two people can play it. It's always complaints. It's never. It's never. No one's ever better than anyone out there at FIFA. It's always someone else's fault. It's yeah. always the game's fault. Yeah. Trust me, I know that feeling. <laughs>